hey, are you showing up on this day in particular? We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's the dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Here, buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. All right, Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trafficking in male students. Gordon Zeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your lovely. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, if it's here, there you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Bonnie. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taken to the streets, you might as well get him out of his sizzle. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Bonnie, I'll give you the honor. Huh. I I've got to get back on my ship. But okay. got rid of that pet. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's deep beaked and completely harmless. The worst you might do is attempt to couple with your head. Proof of it. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fine. It'll be another week before I can coax her out again. person. You are. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the extent of them. Now then. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. That's not who I think it is. Indeed, it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? Last. 
last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Try again in three, two, one. So, kids, what now? Uh, the doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind plugging us in? Right there, Gordon. relief is almost palpable. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. <laughs> right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Bonnie. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send this to you. Not a moment too soon. Certain it was. 